Tridents are very useful. They're an easy way to fly around your world, a powerful ranged weapon with infinite uses, and even a way to strike mobs with lightning during a thunderstorm. But they're very, very hard to come by. So today, I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on the trident in an easy way. Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how you can build yourself a simple trident in Nautilus shell farm for 1.14.4 and above. Um, I should mention that El Mango made the original design that this design is based off of, but unfortunately it does not work anymore. And also there will be timestamps in the description of this video, but without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is what you're going to need to make this farm. You'll need a stack and 38 of any type of block, preferably ones that will not allow mobs to spawn on top of them, 24 of any type of trapdoor, 8 of any type of fence gate, 44 of obsidian, 12 soul sand, 12 of any kind of block that can transmit redstone through, like a solid block, such as concrete, 4 turtle eggs, and for the redstone part, um, it's not that complicated, don't worry, 12 observers, 12 pistons, 12 note blocks, and 12 string. And just some additional things that would be useful are some torches, but that's only if you use some kind of blocks that monsters can spawn on. Uh, s some sponges just to get rid of the water when you need to. And a flint and steel to light the nether portals. So, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, even before building the farm, is finding a flat location in the middle of a deep ocean biome without any land masses around it that could potentially spawn monsters and ruin the rates of this farm. And so you want to do a deep ocean biome since it is deep and it will provide a lot of spawning locations. So once you've found yourself an area like that, you're going to want to start building the farm. So what you need to do first is build a 5x5 five five of any of your, your block that you chose in the beginning and like this and then you're going to want to put some of these fence gates to hold the water from going in since they are not yet able to be waterlogged and put some trapdoors in here so that the drowns can see inside of this little area that you're going to make Oh, and you're going to do that for both layers. Eh. They're very hard to place because they have such a small little hitbox, and so do the fence gates. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do is go up two blocks with that block once again, and go around the edges like this until you have surrounded the entire thing in, in my case, glass like this. And then you're going to build yourself a bunch of portals up here. So you'll go around like this, and you should go four blocks up like that, and just keep continuing this pattern until you have a bunch of 3x3 three three nether portals and just like so and then what you're going to want to do is put in your blocks up here and then have some temporary blocks to put along the side of your nether portal so that you can keep the water away and I'll do this on all sides come on there we go and have not done it on this side. Oh my gosh. And <laughs> we'll do that. And then we can go inside of the farm and get your sponges or just some other blocks to block up the water. You could just do this all the way up and then break them and you'll get air, which is what you need in here. But I'm going to use sponges just to speed this up a little bit. And there we go. And then, we can light these portals up, 
in here and you can also make a little barrier like so so that the mobs cannot come in and kill all of your turtle eggs which are you are going to place down here and a little plus pattern and then you'll want to come outside the farm and begin on the redstone portion of the farm after you actually you remove these temporary blocks here which were just to hold the water out so you could build the nether portals and last one okay then what you'll want to do is you want to make a little kind of roof thing <laughs> and have the corners along like this and more of these all the way around I'll just do this one side and I'll do the rest off camera because they're all exactly the same and then you'll want to come back here with some temporary blocks and put some pistons like so and come out and put some observers in the back and your solid blocks here they are and then your note blocks down here and then finally you'll want to clear this oops area out of the water there you go and now you'll have a little air bubble up here and then you will want to place your string along these rivers the piston should fire like that so now when anything enters the the string it will push the pistons like that. I do not want to go in the portal, so that's why I was being so careful. And then you want to put some soul sand down here to push the drowns upwards. And then you'll want to do this on all four of the sides, and I'll see you when I've completed that. Okay, I have put redstone on all of these sides, and there's actually something I forgot to mention while I was down here. If you used blocks that mobs can spawn on, like concrete or stone, then you're going to need to place a torch in the middle, just like that, so monsters don't spawn uh, and break all the eggs, because that would break the farm, and you need to replace the eggs. Okay, so once you have built the redstone on all four of the sides, you're going to want to head through your nether portals. And... Once you're on the other side, you can build a little area for the drowns to come in and get killed so that you can pick up all of their loot. Just build a little area around the portal. You can make it as wide or as tall as you want. Uh, making it wider is beneficial as it decreases the amount of entity cramming that is possible to happen if you want to AFK for longer periods of time. and. I should mention that El Mango has his own little design thing that he makes in the tutorial that he has, which will be in the description. And he makes it so that you can press a button and the drowns will get pushed um, into the little area where you kill them after the portal is broken and then the portal will be relit. But I think that's just a little like too complicated. and. Seems like you could just do something like this and have some trapdoors to block the baby zombies and you should be fine. After you have done the part in the nether, you're going to want to come to the top of your farm and go up 114 blocks or a stack and 50 blocks as you can see in my hotbar. Um, I recommend just taking 114 blocks and just kind of stacking up. Okay, so once you've made it up all 114 blocks you can build yourself a little afk area like maybe with a chest to put all your stuff in and a portal to get up here easily uh, just and all the stuff that you would want in a typical afk area okay after you've built your little afk area you can move the pillar and be a happy person and live on your life and to get yourself a trident um, and now I can show you how this farm actually works. So if I spawn in a few drowns, oh wow, this guy, this guy has a trident. If I just spawn in a bunch of them right here, you'll see they all head straight for the soul sand. 
because the the turtle eggs that are down here, even the babies can see it, which is perfect. And then they get shoved into this little area where they get put into the portal. And um, obviously the first one will create a little bit of lag because that's how portals just work now in 1.14. And as you can see, all of the drowns are getting shoved into the portals. After the drowns have walked into the portal, you can come down and kill them for their loots. And hopefully you can get a trident. Uh, oh wow, I actually got really lucky and got one there. I do have looting three on this sword. Um, but as you can see, this farm does work, and I feel like that is a great place to leave off this video. If you liked it or thought it was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe with notifications on so you can see more videos like this, and Elmango's original tutorial will be in the description. Bye bye